All right, welcome back again. I'm just going to do a video here on something that I haven't had time to do in quite some time. Um, most arcade machines, actually I think all of them, have T-molding. And it's just that plastic stuff that goes around the control panel or um, goes down the sides and goes up around the monitor and kind of keeps the wood from getting all scuffed up and, um, you know, kind of gives it diff different accents for different machines. This particular size on uh, Mortal Kombat and most Midway arcade machines is three quarter inch smooth. This is the original T molding that came on the machine, you know, back in 1993. This is the only stuff you can buy now. It's three quarter inch smooth red, but I don't know if you can make it out. But there's a slight difference as this is a little bit lighter and a little bit brighter, whereas this is a little more kind of like a dark cherry color. Uh, it's not a big deal to me, but you know, for people that want to replace their T molding, and this shows up. They might get upset that it's exactly not, or rather that, that it's not uh, exactly the same color. So anyways, um, I just thought I'd point that out because a lot of people will probably buy it and be like, oh, it doesn't match. So if you're going to do it, you need to do the entire machine. Whenever I order, I order about 25 to 30 feet um, just to give myself a little extra because there is a lot on an MK arcade machine. You, know, you have the entire control panel sides, the piece that goes across the front. Then there's two pieces on each side right here. You can see that one's missing over there. And then there's two really long pieces that go up all the way around the back of the cabinet and then they end up inside the control panel here. So, uh, you know, a, a good assessment is about 25 feet to where it gives you an extra foot or two to kind of, uh, I don't know, give yourself some screw ups here and there, but really you shouldn't be able to screw up. Anyways, uh, there's only a couple tools you need. Um, I use a hammer, really probably you should use a rubber mallet not to make any marks a scissor to cut it, a razor blade to make the little indentions to go around uh, the corners, and then a flathead um, screwdriver. And what I use a flathead for is just kind of put it in between the uh, machine, the wood, and the T-molding, and it just pops it off. You can see it just kind of comes off, and there it is right there. These little cutouts right here are, are for going around a bend. Those of you who, don't, who do not know, if you had a full piece like this, and you tried to go around a bend, you can see it crushes on itself right there. So obviously that's not going to stay in the groove. So what you do is you take a razor blade and you cut out a little groove around all the bends that you need to go around. You can see it here. So um, I'm going to put new T-molding on and around the control panel, but I just want to kind of make a tutorial for people that don't know. And those of you uh, who don't know, if you take off T-mold, you can see the routered groove that goes all the way around the control panel. This is the same consistent groove that goes all the way around the entire machine. So, like I said, three quarter inch smooth. Um, red is what's used on MK uh, arcade machines. Three quarter inch blue on Killer Instinct and so on for just about everything. But um, it's relatively inexpensive. I think it's like, I don't know, 20 cents a foot. So for an entire arcade machine, it shouldn't cost you anyone like 10, 12 dollars. And um, like I said, the only tools you need really is a, a screwdriver. I'd use a rubber mallet because when I, when I put it in, um, I use a hammer since I don't have a rubber mallet, but I'll kind of just show you. Um, when it's the new stuff, the, the groove, when you put it in there, it's pretty tight. So you got to kind of, there's always like a groove like that, and you kind of go like that, and it puts it down in the groove. The only problem with using a hammer is it's pretty aggressive, and you might make, you know, on top little little hammer marks in there. If that really bothers you, then you should probably use a rubber mallet or put like a towel on it or something. So, um, if anybody has any questions, let me know about it. But that's the way you replace your T-molding on an arcade machine. It's pretty simple and straightforward, but going around the bends is difficult um, if you do not make those little cuts with the razor blade. So there you have it. Hope that helps someone.